All right, it is Tuesday, January 26th. I'm Tom Novak. This is your Bring Me the News and Novak Weather Update that's brought to you by Grand Casino, Grand Casino of Mille Lacs and Hinkley. Thank you for sponsoring this update, which is going to be quiet here now for the next four or five days, and I think we start to ramp things up a little bit here later Saturday into Sunday, but I'm not expecting a big storm. I think that's the that's the uh, main difference now between yesterday and today is that my confidence in a significant storm system, especially from a snow standpoint for this weekend, is dramatically getting lower and lower. But uh, we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Right now, take a look at the visible satellite loop. Over the upper Midwest, look at this beautiful clear skies over northeastern North Dakota, much of Minnesota, especially northern Minnesota. Uh, some high clouds here over central Minnesota and southern Minnesota, but all in all, just a beautiful day here in the upper Midwest. And you can see the visible satellite loop is beautiful because you can see the ground features whenever you get clear skies. Here's Lake Mille Lacs right here. You got Leech Lake here and lower and upper Red Lakes here in, in Minnesota, even Lake of the Woods up here. Just a beautiful shot from outer space and also take a look down here you see a lot of this white in these rivers here in Iowa well there's a lot of white down there in gray colors because they've got a lot of snow in fact take a look at where the snow fell here over the last 24 hours as of early this morning at about 6 this morning these are the snowfall totals for uh, Iowa and Nebraska and into southern Wisconsin we're talking about snows in excess of six inches some places in excess of a foot in fact, even down here by Omaha, Nebraska, over a foot of snow in several places. And Des Moines got in on the action, too, with 10 to 12 inches of snow down there. And if you think about it, that's not very far from the Twin Cities Metro, really only a couple hundred miles. So we lucked out, or maybe got unlucky, depending on how you look at it. But we could have really been hit by a significant snowstorm. But we escaped just to the north of that storm track. And I get a funny feeling... That may be the same situation that happens this weekend. All right, here are the temperatures now across uh, the northern plains and upper Midwest. Look at the bitter cold air this afternoon over northern Minnesota, northwestern Minnesota, North Dakota, and Manitoba, Saskatchewan. Even though they have clear skies up there, their highs didn't make it above zero. So bitter cold Arctic air is not far away from southern Minnesota, but here in southern Minnesota with Plenty of sunshine for most of us. Our temperatures got into the upper teens and lower 20s. So yeah, our atmosphere, given it's late January now, we're starting to gain sunshine, which means we're starting to gain energy. So temperatures seem to respond a little bit better now, more than they did even a month ago. Now, as we put this into motion, look how temperatures drop into the single digits tonight, maybe even some temperatures near or below zero, depending on the, sky, the cloud cover. If we get clear skies, we're going to we're going to drop pretty good tonight, and then tomorrow temperatures will warm back up to near 10 degrees, maybe even the teens. We may respond with our temperatures uh, just like we did today, a little bit better than anticipated. Uh, we'll see. A lot of it has to do with sunshine, and then, of course, as we get into Thursday, temperatures warm back well into the teens to near 20 degrees. All in all, not bad. Not a bad forecast from a temperature department, considering that it's the coldest time of the year right now here in the upper Midwest. All right, what's going to be happening this weekend? Well, let's take a look at the jet stream, the River Vera, 30 to 35,000 feet, and take a look at where the jet stream is located here today and tomorrow. It's over the southern and southeastern portions of the United States, over Dixie and uh, the Gulf Coast states. In fact, a tornado, a fairly strong one, was reported in northern Alabama late yesterday evening. So that's where the active weather is, and that's where it's going to stay for the next couple of days. Then our attention turns turns towards the West Coast, especially California, as a trough starts to pull into the Plain states here in Rocky Mountains as we get into Friday and Saturday. But I want you to look at where the bulk of this energy is located now on Saturday evening with a jet streak located well south of Minnesota and Wisconsin over Oklahoma and Arkansas. That puts the majority of the energy south of Minnesota over the central portion of the United States hitting it, heading into the mid-Mississippi Valley. In fact, you can see it even better here uh, when we look at the uh, vorticity chart. These are the winds or the twist in the atmosphere at about 20,000 feet. And as we get into Saturday now, look at where the vorticity is located. And again, this is energy in our atmosphere. Most of it is over Missouri and then heading into Illinois as we get into Saturday night and Sunday morning. Hence, I think the majority of the precipitation is going to fall down there while we are left with 
Uh, cloudy skies, probably drizzle, freezing drizzle, maybe even spits of light snow and flurries as we get into this weekend. In fact, as you look at the extended forecast here from Bring Me the News, Novak Weather and Grand Casino, here it is. You know, these temperatures actually may be a bit conservative here over the next three to four days through Friday. We might have to bump them up a few more degrees especially if, you get, if we get some sunshine. Then look at the temperatures this weekend. We're near or just a little bit below freezing, and I'm worried that we are going to get some freezing drizzle or drizzle and some spits of light snow, and that could create, create slick conditions on Saturday and Sunday. But once again, I am not expecting a massive storm system, at least up here in the upper Midwest. No big snowstorms the way it looks right now. We'll, of course, be keeping an eye on that system as we go through this week, but... Uh, be prepared for slick conditions this weekend, but I'm not expecting the big storm that you may have been hearing about. All right, that is your forecast. Thank you for joining me. Have a great, great evening.